Hello there, I'm Rob Waddington. Um, it's another one of our totally awesome fly fishing programs. We're going to concentrate on tying flies again today. Uh, I'm a guide here and I uh, teach and guide on Rutland Water. And uh, I don't know if you've noticed around the waters by you, in the summer you get a lot of damselflies. These bright electric blue, almost like little dragonflies. They're not dragonflies, but they're damselflies. Now, trout don't usually take the, 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 the adult, the, 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 the flying insect, but they'll take the nymph, damselfly nymph. And it's a very, very easy fly to tie. And today I'm going to show you how to tie it. Okay, this is a damselfly nymph. Now they're usually sort of a, an olive an olive green colour, so we're going to use some olive marabou feather from a turkey, very soft, it comes in all sorts of different colours, it can be dyed. It's quite a long thing, I don't know if you've ever seen a damselfly nymph, it's a fascinating little thing, it's like a little green tadpole, and it just wriggles and wriggles in the surface, it climbs up the rocks and turns into the adult. Um, so what we're going to use is a long hook, but to give it a bit of movement, I've put a little gold bead in the head, I've just slid, slid that through the, through the bend, and a little gold bead. So I'm going to put that in there. Nice long lure hook. I'm going to use some green thread this time. It's a very olive green pattern. Um, the females are bright olive green, I think, or it's the, the males are bright olive and the females are sort of a dull olive, but a, a green. The trout don't know all this. They don't read the books. They just like something that looks like a damselfly and it looks enticing. So I've tied the thread in there. I'm going to just snip that off and put a little bit of super glue behind that head there. Put that in there, put a bit there. Leave that for a while. Just tie a bit more in the head there. Now, I'm going to wind the, the thread all the way down the hook. close together as you can it doesn't matter about if it doesn't look neat the trout won't know that as long as it looks like a damselfly I'm just going to put a little half hitch there just to lock that in this is simplicity itself I'm going to take some green marabou green marabou olive green this golden olive looks good as well but today I'm just going to use the standard green rip of it off and tie that in the tail. I'm just going to pinch it in the tail and wind it in, tighten it in like that. There, nice little bushy tail. Now that doesn't look much like that, but when that's wet, that just wiggles enticingly, just like a little damsel nymph. I'm going to put a little bit of flash in the tail as well. A little bit of this crinkle flash here, just down the tail here. couple of turns and that's locked in place. I'm actually going to use the rest of the marabou just as the body but just to strengthen it I'm going to put a little rib round it. I'm going to use my trusty solenoid, part of an old rock, rock amplifier here. Uh, it's just a nice dull coloured copper thread. Move the feathers out of the way and just bring the thread up to the head here. Chop that out of the way. Quite like that actually, I don't you know, normally cut that off but you know I might use that as a bit of a rib as well. Why not? You can make your own things up with fly tying. Just wrap that round the body. Tie it off. Simple as anything this. Simple fly. Very effective. So I've got my rib going round as well just to keep that in place. That marabou just creates a bit of a scruffy, movable body, just creates a little bit of movement in the water. As you're pulling that along. Tie that off.
as I say, we like to have a bit of fun fly tying, so I quite like that bit, that bit of glitter that I used in the body. I'm just going to bring that round again and just have that as another little rib. Why not? Just one, one more thing I'm going to do. I'm going to tie a hen hack, a hack around the back of the head here to create like a little leg, like a little leggy look. Strip a bit off so we can tie it in. My little dog rock has just found a mouse. <laughs> then we can just wrap that round the head, and as we do it, that splays out there. Not a, only a few, just to create a little bit of a something that looks like a few legs there. Just tie that up, tie that off. Just going to push them back a bit and build up the head here get my trusty whipping tool. One, two, three, four, five. Pull it tight. Sometimes you can pull it and it snaps off. You don't need to use the scissors. As I say, it's a bit of fun. And then just put a bit of super glue over that thread there. And there you've got a real simple very effective damselfly nymph okay there's my version of a damselfly nymph really easy to really easy to, to tie um there we go it doesn't look much like that but when this marabou is wet in the water it just wiggles enticingly like a real damselfly nymph and i've put a little bit of extra sparkle in there you can make you make it up as you go along as i did with that sparkly body sometimes we tie them as a booby head Foam booby head there, pull that through the water, making a little bit of a gurgle. But damselflies, great. All through the summer, we get loads of damselflies on this lake. On the rivers and on the ponds near you and the small lakes, use a damselfly nymph.